first and foremost, you'll notice that every single one of the sages did the same exact thing. Every one of them picked something simple as the foundation to all of their teaching. Why? Because the Torah must be relevant to everyone. If you're going to learn Torah yourself, learn whatever you want. If you're interested in it, you understand it, you connect to it, learn whatever you want. Enjoy. If you're at that level. Now, if you just did Shuva a year, two years, five years ago, and you're going to start telling me, listen, I'm going to go start learning Kabbalah or Zohar, I'm going to tell you you're going in the wrong direction. It's not for you. You have to be an expert in Alacha, Gemara, Chumash. You have to be an expert in a lot of Torah that at the very least is going to take you 20 plus years before you even touch Kabbalah, real Kabbalah, not Kabbalah center nonsense. Real Kabbalah, real Zohar. Can't touch it. It's not for you. It's not for me. It has nothing to do with your intellect power. It has to do with Kedusha. You have to be a certain level of holy in order to get there. To even know what a certain level of holy is, you already have to be a certain level. Meaning, if I tell most people, listen, you have to be a certain level of holy, most people are like, oh, whatever, I pray three times a day. I learn a couple hours a day. I'm holy. No, you're not. You're special to Hashem. But to be holy, like Kabbalah holy, you have to purify your body, purify your eyes, purify your neshama. Do all types of things that are like far, far, far away from us. Now you ask, the next natural question should be, well, you mentioned some things that the Zohar says from time to time. These are very basic things that my teacher would teach me or something like that that are just one-liners. Not that I study the Zohar or most people that speak about the Zohar in, uh, in, in, in uh, lectures, they don't actually study the Zohar most of the time. Just that you hear from somewhere or you read something basic level. You're not going into the delve of the, of the deepness, uh, the depthness of the Zohar, because why? Because this Zohar and this Kabbalah also includes the names of angels. And those angels are very, very serious. Where if you say their name, and you're not at a level of holiness to say their name, cause a lot of problems for you. Name the problem, it'll cause it. It's not a rumor that there's actually a hospital in Israel specifically meant for people that went crazy learning the Zohar. It's not a rumor. How do I know it's not a rumor? I saw it. It's right next to Robert Frame's house. It's in Hanuf. The overwhelming majority of the patients are from Zohar. Some of them were holy people, just not at that level. So, you have to be careful. But again, if you look at the sages, they're not teaching you Zohar. They're teaching you basic level Torah. Why? Because they want to teach you something that you can take with you forever. Regardless of what level you are, regardless of whether you're a Baal Tshuva for a year or two, or you're already in it for 25, 30, 40, 50 years. You can take all of this and delve into it and go into it deeper and deeper and see that it never ends. 